Hideaki Itsuno knows fighting games. He got a job at Capcom in 1994 and was part of the team on the Street Fighter Alpha series and Star Gladiator, a fighting game pushing then-current arcade hardware to 60 FPS. He saw space in the fighting genre for diversification of structure and developed Rival Schools, a story-heavy fighting game with RPG elements that played around with wide-open level design. His next project, a fighting game set in the 1800s, reportedly inspired by Indiana Jones and Jackie Chan movies, was playing around even further with that exploration of space. And halfway through development, his team realized that in full 3D, if they pulled the camera all the way up to an isometric angle, they could create an entirely new sort of fighting game. The game was called Power Stone, and it was innovating a genre that came to be known as the Arena Battle Game, where the strategy is not memorizing a series of exact, complex button combinations, but instead being active in a three-dimensional stage, a space with a remarkable amount of weapons, projectiles, and other devices already present. And then prizes are randomly distributed throughout the contest. Things like swords, guns, bombs, as well as a series of titular power stones that, if obtained in order, provide a remarkable and devastating boost of strength. Being developed independently at almost the exact same time as the game that defined the arena battle genre, Nintendo's Super Smash Bros., Power Stone came up with a lot of the same ideas, but deployed in a much different way. Smash Bros., for all its craziness, is still relatively two-dimensional, working left to right and right to left. Power Stone is fully three-dimensional, running between upstage and downstage, on stairs, on platforms. And essentially everything in the stage is interactive, which really leans in to the delightful chaos. Now, just because this isn't Soul Calibur's exacting combo string does not mean that there isn't strategy here. This is a straightforward game, but it's not a basic one, and you're persistently making estimations for placement and strategy. You're constantly sticking and moving, charting the quickest path to weapons, or especially the stones, to string together enough to take down your opponent. Power Stone was a huge hit, but became something of a cult item legacy-wise. The Dreamcast didn't have a long cultural tale, and Smash Brothers, every famous character from the history of Nintendo roster, connected a little more long-term than Power Stone's charming group of whimsical anime vagabonds. But God, it deserves better. When I put out a general request for my friends and followers to name the first game they think of when they think of the Dreamcast, I had over a dozen people name Power Stone. This game is addicting and involving, with the randomness of the weapon drops and the bedlam built into the structure, making sure that every matchup is an interesting, wild, competitive one, keeping it from just simply becoming the most experienced player dominating. The only thing I could think of to really improve upon Power Stone would just be to expand it to four players. 1v1 is so much fun, but if they're leaning into the mayhem, I wish they'd gone just a little farther, because otherwise, this is as much fun as I've had with a fighting game in years. Up next, y'all ready to slam some boats? <laughs>